What's up YouTube, it's Shackle Goldkick, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about why the 2010s is my favorite music decade. So, the 2010s is honestly my favorite music decade and decade of music, year, path of however you want to put it, of music. And the reason for this is because I do like music from other time periods. There's some songs I like that are from the 90s. I like some music that's from the 2000s. But my favorite decade is from the 2010s. And the reason for this is because a lot of my favorite music and a lot of the best music, in my opinion, came out in the 2010s. And it's an era that I grew up in, as well as listening to music in it. Now, I was born in 1999, 24 years old. So I grew up in like the 2000s era of music, but did have some music from the 90s that played around me. Now, when I started to get older into my teenage years and eventually an adult now, it was through the 2010s. And through the 2010s, I did start to not really care for the mainstream side of things. When it comes to music, my favorite genre is rap. I like some rock music, don't really care for country music, it's not my thing. I guess I like some other genres if you consider whatever it is that Bun on the Dance for does some time, so like EDM and stuff like that. But for the like 2000s decade, I did like that music, but for the 2010s, that's around that time is when I didn't start to care for mainstream rap and the mainstream side of things musically. So I eventually uh, experienced YouTube and experienced the internet and seen the music they had to offer. And in the 2010s, I pretty much found a whole bunch of music as I was growing up in the 2010s. I found artists like Russian, Russian Rapper, JB, Dennis, Hobson, Novi Novak, Z Lau, and Blood on the Dance 4, Cinema Bazaar. And a lot of those artists made music in the 2010s. And a lot of those artists were actually around back then, still making music. And because a lot of those artists were around at the same time, you know, listening to Novi Novak and Blood on the Dance 4 and Hobson and JB and Rush Rush Rapper and Dennis and Olet and Blood on the Dance 4 and Simon Bazaar, all of these artists uh, calculated together as well as Deuce, I'll throw him in there. It made the 2010s very special for me because not only is it nostalgic for me when I look back on it growing up in the 2010s, but I had all these artists that I listened to. Now, the mainstream side of things was garbage. I will say that, right? The mainstream side of things, especially mainstream rap, is fucking garbage. It was trash in the 2010s. It was terrible. But the underground independent scene was phenomenal. And that's where the good music was. And that's where the best music was in the 2010s. And growing up in the 2010s, all those artists I found and all those artists I was listening to in my teenage years, it just makes me very fond of the 2010s era. And plus, when I look at the time periods of music I've listened to, I like the 2010s era of music the most because the music I love the most and a lot of my favorites comes from the 2010s era. Some of the stuff that JB was doing, some of the stuff that Dennis was doing, some of the stuff that Rush Russian Rapper was doing, some of the stuff that Bud on the Dance Floor was doing, some of the stuff Dennis was doing and Old that was doing, uh, you know, some of the Kid Cudi stuff. You know, he's a mainstream, he's a good mainstream rapper. Cinema Bazaar, some of their stuff in the 2010s was good. You know, there was a lot of good music that I found in the 2010s and I really enjoyed. And it just makes me like the 2010s decade the most. Like, it's my favorite decade of music because it's nostalgic. I grew up in it as I was getting in my teenage years. It's like I, I grew up in it. I got to experience a lot of the music that came out, a lot of the artists I found, mainly independent underground, of course, because mainstream music, especially mainstream rap, is fucking trash. But I just really love the 2010s decade of music, especially for, like, rap, some rock and other genres, mainly independent and underground stuff. It was just great. There was a lot of great music, there was a lot of great songs, and there was a lot of great artists just making good music. And I can look back at that time period very fondly. It's a very great time period, and it was just a lot more exciting to be a music fan, it really was. Because a lot of the artists I like were still making music, a lot of them were still around, and there was music still being put out from a lot of artists that I followed. Whereas nowadays, it's not like that anymore. A lot of the artists I listen to, aren't making music anymore, like JB and Rush and Oled and Fix Craven, Cinema Bazaar, etc. And then some artists change for the worse, in my opinion, like Hobson and uh, Novi Novak, who now goes by Rob Level. So, yeah, um, I don't really know what else to say in this video, but I just felt like doing like a, sh a quick video, I guess, talking about why the 2010, the 2010s is my favorite uh, music decade. That's my favorite music decade is the 2010s. The 2000s decade was really good too, but my personal favorite music decade was the 2010s, simply because I was growing up in there 
a lot of my kid and teenage years spent in the 2010s as I was getting older since I was born in 1999 was spent in that time period experiencing the internet for the first time experiencing YouTube as well as finding all of these artists and most of my favorite artists and favorite songs and the music I love the most comes from this time period the 2010s and I'm nostalgic for it and I look back fondly on it and I really enjoy it thus it makes it my personal favorite music decade um, and yeah, I look back on it fondly, whereas now, music these days, very boring, even in the independent underground scene, there's not really as much excitement, not as much interesting stuff going on, to be honest, but just wanted to make this video about why the 2010s is my favorite music decade, so yeah, that's really all I have to say in this video, and yeah, I think... I'm sure maybe there's other people that have different choices and different uh, decades. I think it comes down to what era you like the music from the most and what you grew up in. I think for me it comes down to liking the music the most from the 2010s, the artists I knew, but also the fact that I grew up in that time period. And I think that's why the 2010s is my uh, favorite decade of music, especially rap and rock and just, there was a lot of good stuff. So that's all I got to say in this video. Peace.